क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the vitamins and now we are going to talk about the sources of vitamins and the deficiency disease caused by it so now let us discuss about that So friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the vitamins as well as the classification of vitamins and now in this topic i am going to talk about the sources of the vitamins and the importance of those as well as we are also going to talk about the deficiency disease caused by it so now let's get started so here we have a table so that we could understand what are the sources of the vitamins as well as what are the deficiency disease caused by it so talking about the first one that is for vitamin a so vitamin a is where we could find that is in fish liver oil carrots buttermilk sweet potatoes and tomatoes and the deficiency disease that could be caused if that is not been present in a sufficient quantity in our body so therefore the night blindness dryness of skin and the retardation of the growth can also occur because of the deficiency of vitamin a so similarly if you talk about that is vitamin b1 so vitamin b1 is known as thiamine so thiamine is basically present in rice milk green vegetables wheat and meat and the deficiency caused by it is very very that is loss of appetite or retardness of the growth and now let me talk about the next one that is vitamin b2 that is known as riboflavin so riboflavin is the one that it could be obtained from egg yolk liver yeast so the deficiency it could cause inflammation of tongue drying of lips at the corner of the mouth and that is chelosis that is retardation of the growth and that is digestion so talking about the next one that is vitamin b5 so vitamin b5 is also known as nicotinamide and in that case we get it from that is barley liver maize wheat rice so in that case the disease that it could cause for the deficiency that is pellagra pigmentation of skin mental confusion degeneration of the spinal cord so such kind of the disease it could cause so talking about the next one that is vitamin b6 so it has a source from yeast milk fish cereals maize etc and the deficiency disease that it could cause is convulsion mental changes failure to gain weight so this shows that how much the vitamins are needed to our body so talking about the next one that is vitamin b12 so talking about that egg fish curd liver of pig and sheep so these are the sources of vitamin b12 and anemia degradation of spinal cord so these are the disease that it could cause that is if it is present in a less quantity in our body so talking about vitamin c vitamin c obviously we understand that is it is present in citric foods onions cabbage amla green leaf vegetables tomatoes and the disease that it could cause because of the deficiency is scurvy vitamin d obviously that is the main source is exposure to sunlight we already have those vitamins that are known as pre vitamins on our skin so the only thing is only the sunlight can activate those vitamins and that is how basically it would be absorbed on the bone and that's the reason that if vitamin d is not sufficient quantity in our body then we could get rickets talking about the next one that is vitamin e vitamin e is basically present in vegetable oils like wheat germ oil cotton seed oil soybean oil etc and the deficiency disease that it could cause is muscular weakness abnormal growth i talk about vitamin k vitamin k is usually present in greeny vegetables fish meat etc and its deficiency can cause increased blood clotting time so talking about the next one that is vitamin p so vitamin p is present in oranges grapes and the deficiency that it could cause is hemorrhage decrease in the capillary resistance so therefore this all are the deficiencies so this also shows the importance of the vitamins in our body and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got an idea about the importance of vitamins and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much